For thousands of years, one of the greatest mysteries of all time is what do girls really want from men? What is it that makes them attracted to us? Do they want a guy who is always super nice to them and overly submissive? Or do they want a strong, dominant warrior like a Spartan? What you'll soon find out is that what girls say they're attracted to and who they actually end up with are oftentimes two very different things. One of the most attractive male archetypes of all time is the bad boy. Think about the guys in school or even at work who always seem to have girls tripping over each other to get to them. These are the guys who have the girls chasing them. And ironically, most of them are not even very attractive. A lot of these guys are pretty grungy looking, which is far from the equally attractive couples you'll find in many Hollywood movies. How is it that a small Barbie-like beautiful girl ends up with a big lumberjack type of guy? And at the same time, you have very attractive guys walking around with girls who, let's just say, aren't exactly a stunning princess that you'd expect to see with them. The answer to this great mystery is closer than you think, and it's really easy to understand. The only real difference between the guys who don't have an incredibly beautiful girlfriend and those who do comes down to behavior. I've mentioned in previous videos that most girls are like highly tuned instruments, constantly reading a man's behavior and analyzing the implied meaning behind it. In other words, they're born experts when it comes to reading body language, voice tonality, and all of the other signals that one might call reading between the lines. Most girls will say that they want a nice guy, but in most cases, if presented with the right opportunity, the guy they'll actually end up with is the bad boy. But the problem is that the traditional bad boy comes with many traits that we don't want to develop, such as not caring about other people or the law. Attraction for both guys and girls occurs subconsciously, which means that in most cases, we can't control what we're attracted to. Think about that for a second. Girls and guys literally cannot control what makes them attracted to something. They can consciously resist it, but the raw attraction will always be there. Think of it like this. Within every girl, there is a master set of switches that control her attraction. The same is true for men. The behavior displayed by a typical bad boy smashes pretty much all of these switches for things like confidence, unpredictability, mystery, and raw masculinity. To have the same effect on most girls, all that you have to do is display the same behavior. But the key here is to keep the good traits of the bad boy while eliminating the ones that will create instability and land you in jail. If you follow the simple principles you're about to learn, you can become like the Spartan version of the bad boy, which includes the strengths, but none of his weaknesses. The first principle is being tough on the outside, but loving and vulnerable on the inside. Pretty much all girls dream about being with a guy who has a tough exterior but who also has a softer side to it. Second, the bad boy will share his opinion and he doesn't care what others think. Something to remember is that a high value man never puts someone else's opinion of him above his own. In other words, do things to impress yourself and improve in your eyes, not for the validation of others. The third principle deals mostly with body language and your external appearance. The bad boy keeps his back straight and head held high with his chin very slightly raised. When sitting, they take up lots of space. One could argue that the defining trait, the one that rules them all, is the attitude of not caring about what other people think of you. In life, everywhere you go, other people will give you their opinion. Most of the time, they do this non-verbally with their eyes, their voice tone, or how they act towards you. Other times, they'll say it to your face. The defining and most important trait of the bad boy is to realize that all of these things all of these people who judge you while you walk down the halls of your school or through your workplace are just opinions. But the only opinion about yourself that means more than all of the rest, the only one that truly matters, is your own. These are the basic traits of the bad boy that push the subconscious buttons for most girls. And the sooner you start practicing them, the sooner they can change your life for the better. A famous quote once said, he who believes he can and he who believes he can't are both usually right. Imagine you have two guys. One of the guys has girls tripping over themselves to be with him. The other can't seem to attract any girl. But here's the plot twist. Both of these guys are equally attractive and intelligent. In fact, they're like mirror copies of each other. The only difference is that one believes he deserves attention from girls and all these great things in life, while the other believes he doesn't. Both are usually right. For thousands of years, girls have been drawn to bad boys like a magnet because this is how they're programmed. They quite literally can't help it, just like men. And all that you have to do is borrow the good traits of the bad boy 
while discarding the ones that aren't useful. And through daily practice and repetition, you can install these new beliefs and reap the benefits that they have to offer. And if you're into business or making money, check out my second channel, Business Secrets. The link is in the description. And with that said, until next time, thanks for watching.